Let's try naming this. Looks like both of you figured this out. So again, we named the ether as a substituent. This would give us three propoxy butanoic acid. So that's pretty similar to some of the other examples we've seen. Okay. Well, I think that's a, a pretty good review of the, the nomenclature that you might see. Again, you might want to make a flashcard of the difference between ethers and esters. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm, or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.